Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So the land eating tractor is continuing with the ploughing. It's just so we get more money, more yield from this particular field. I just need to pick up my bales bike because very soon we're going to be picking up bales again. But of course before we can pick up the bales we have to make them. That is the standard procedure. So yeah, here we go. Uh, let's get this thing switched on. And I think I will go around the headland first of all just there is more space for the worker to manoeuvre because the worker is going to be harvesting this and yeah it is December and of course this is our workaround because we had the glitch which prevented the frost on the grass from disappearing now I tried to figure out how to fix that myself it seems to work for me I will let you know how to do it if you are interested first of all you have to go to your XML file though and you need to enable the console so you can actually put in console commands but I basically went through to the environment reset and or reload and yeah that takes you back to August and it did remove my frost um, but please do back up your save game first yeah that one there GS environment reload that's what I used it seems to work successfully as I said this is something I just figured out for myself it might not even be the correct way of doing it but it has worked fairly effectively so feel free to use that if you want to just back up okay right well I don't think we need to have any kind of headland at the top uh, well I suppose we do have the sheep in the way but by the time this gets to the sheep I might be able to uh, do that part myself anyway so we have let me just start this voucher up drop off the drill and I have attached to the baler now today seems to be a very good day to sell our produce the price for lettuce it's very high, so I've changed the output mode to selling and we'll try and pick up all those pallets on the uh, outside of the greenhouse so that I can sell those as well. We are producing quite a few eggs. Don't want to get in the way of the worker. Yep, so we have half a pallet here. I'm not too sure how many litres we can fit onto a pallet, but the price for eggs usually is quite good. Let's just see eggs on here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. 4,000. So we'll probably sell them as well, despite it not being full. Honey. Now, honey is the issue, because honey seems to be uh, fluctuating quite a bit. One minute it's really bad, next minute it's not too bad. Oh, yes. So it is going up, but that is a good enough price for me. I did say over th over 3,000. <laughs> yeah, over 1,000. That would be bad. And we have another four pallets, so we can get that put onto the other trailer. And we can finally get the other trailer emptied and the moment this harvest is over we can put it back to the real season so it'll actually look like December the trees will lose their leaves and we'll be back on track for the uh, realistic environment okay then so I can now go over here and I can start baling oh the wall <laughs> we actually do have quite a few products oh yeah and the vineyard the vines are growing because as I said, we have seasons technically switched off, so they are growing as if it was summer, which is not what I need. I, I really want to have the harvest at the right time. I will switch on automatic unloading, or is it automatic drop? There we go. And when I catch up with the combine, I will just bring the trailer around, because we're going to have to unload the combine fairly soon. But yeah, I think today we're actually going to end up with a lot of money. I would love to be able to repay the £20,000 loan, which we didn't really need. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can end up with. And then I really hope we can just completely remove the loan and still have quite a decent amount of money left. We are still going to be selling the oats and we're going to be selling the straw. We have plenty of straw to sell. So, yeah, it's looking very promising. Now what we need is the the grape equipment so we need the pruner for the vineyard we need the sprayer and most importantly we need the harvester all of which have to be in the sale
Once this bale has been created and deposited, we're going to detach the baler, put the trailer back on, and then empty the combine. Now, yeah, everything's going fine. It's all going very well, actually. I just don't want the Landini's catch up with the field. Really, I should have started the other side, thinking about it. Uh, you might have also noticed that we did get paid about £10,000, which I'm guessing was from selling the lettuce. So that's nice. That's a nice little cash boost. But there is plenty more money to come, and the bale trailer is going to be extremely full. <laughs> we have so many bales. And this is probably going to almost fill the trailer. I think what I'm going to do is sell this load, but then put the next load into storage just in case we do get the cereal factory. But I do want to sell the majority. Okay, almost there. Please fill it. Looking promising. Spoke too soon. <laughs> oh no, 99%. What were the chances? Well, that's actually more than half. So yeah, the next load will fit in here anyway. And it's not exactly going far. So let's take this to the sell point. Let's hope the price is still good. Oats. Two... 211, that's the train. Uh, so, yeah, let's take it to the train. It's a different place to last time. And by the time we get back, the worker might have finished harvesting. Let's just check up on that plough. Seems to be getting very close. <laughs> that would just be terrible if uh, I come back and it's ploughed at half my field. Half of my unharvested field. Yeah, it's a bit too close for comfort for that, so I'm going to stop it. There we go. But yeah, it's got the whole winter to do the ploughing, so there's no rush. Anyway, I'll see you over at the station. Ah, oh, I just missed the train. It's literally just gone past. Well, I can probably get it back. It will reverse. So we'll get that tipping. There we go. And if I quickly run around here... If I press this button, the train should back up for us. Yep, that's triggered it. Okay, so it's going to reverse and it's going to stop in there. At least we don't have to wait for too long. And that's ready to go back. So this is hopefully going to bring in about £25,000 roughly. Where are you, train? Of course, you can't just stop a train like that. It's got to... It's got quite a distance to travel, even after it applies the brakes. Here he comes. I really do like all the sounds. FS22 sounds are really good. Right, so we'll fill that up. Just got to open up the uh, the cover, and then we can start filling. It's not going to be much. Close the cover. Oh no! Wait, I'm still in here. <laughs> right. Okay. So um, yeah, it's thirteen percent. Let's just allow this to get to the sell point. And then we can uh, collect, uh, hopefully, a really decent amount of money. And I'm now very much excited for the grape harvest. I can't wait to see how much money we make. If everything resets as it should do, uh, in the spring, we'll be pruning. And then obviously we'll be spraying and stuff, and then mulching, cultivating, and harvesting in, I think it's like October time. I also always remove the depth of field. I don't like the blur on the horizon. Having depth of field off allows for a very crisp picture. If you do want to remove depth of field and you have console enabled, press tab three times and there it is. You just have to put false. 
In fact, you might, you might not even have to put false, but yeah, I put false. Here we are. So once it goes over this final level crossing, that'll be it. Okay. So we'll be automatically thrown out, as usual. Whoa, that van almost went under my train. Yes, we do want to sell. Uh, what are you playing at? Went through the barrier. Uh, 27,000. £611. That is a good price. Prices today are absolutely amazing. It seems that this time of year... Actually, no, no, it was only the previous episode, wasn't it, when I saw all those really bad prices? I don't know, then. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. But the bank account balance is looking very healthy. And, yeah, I'm going to return. I'm going to return that loan straight away. Let's, re let's repay £20,000. So, that's our real money. We have 42000 and I don't think that's bad going at all. The price for wool could be much better, so that would be worth waiting. Wait for, until the spring for that. Anyway, as you can see, we are almost finished, so I'm going to continue bailing. I will just empty this combine, and I think we're probably safe now to start the Landini up again. There we go. 74%. Yep, yeah, let's get it emptied. I wonder how many bells we're going to finish off with. All I know is I have an awful lot to load up. Uh, we, we could actually rent an auto stacker, but I think I would prefer on this occasion just to stack it myself, as we already have a trailer going. It'll save money. One day we will have the luxury. Oh no, there's a bale in the way. Ah oh, yes, that's that would be my thinking too. Just give it a good push. Not into a tree though. Let's hope it can turn around. Okay, well, it seems fine. I'm amazed, actually. I thought it would just see the bale and stop. Oh, I've got to stop. That just reminds me so much of that scene from Cars. You know where Mater and uh, Lightning McQueen were being chased by the Combine, Frank? Although much slower, and the Combine's nowhere near as angry. Ah, rain. I don't think it affects the bales. I don't think they start to rot away. As far as I'm aware. If anybody knows otherwise, please do let me know. And we should be able to get an extra bale out of that because we do have a little bit just up here where there is a bale in the middle of a piece. It's a piece that I missed and I think the bale rolls on top of it. So if we just very carefully move that bale out of the way all we need is another 9%, which really shouldn't be too tricky. Okay. We do have a little bit there. That's not going to be 2%'s worth. How annoying. So, it looks like we're probably just going to have to wait until next time to empty the baler. 2%. Well, not to worry. Doesn't matter too much. What we do need to do is tip the oats into the storage point, and then we need to start moving these bales. As you can see, we already have loads of bales on that trailer over there. Uh, yeah, when we do sell the straw, it's going to be a huge amount of income. I think the price for straw in the previous episode was about £120 for 1,000 litres, so if it's higher than that, we're doing well. Oh 
yes. 144, but that is the biggest plant, so I don't think we get paid until midnight. There we go. So it's another 8,734 litres, which probably will be sold. Um, but yeah, just in case we have it when we do a production. And I know that we can buy a production building which is already there, but it is the same price. Now, I did actually get a very interesting comment saying that the great processing unit you don't have to buy, so I need to look into that. Should just be able to use it anyway, but I didn't know that was a thing. So I am intrigued. Okay, there we go. It's all safe. This is the great processing unit here. So let's see. £80,000 to purchase it. Um, well, we'll we'd just have to look into it, I guess. I, I, I thought it was just a sell, but I thought you could sell there, but then you couldn't get the raisins and the uh, drink if you didn't buy it. But it's something that's going to have to just be tested. And we'll be able to test it when we have grapes ready. But of course, if anybody knows otherwise, uh, or has any more information about it, that would be very much appreciated. Oh, what a grim day. Well, we might as well put it back to winter time now. Harvest is over. Park this in here. Should be fine. And there we go. So it is now winter, with very fitting weather. And of course, we do have snow on the way, which is no surprise. The plough can continue soon. Um, but yeah, let's just get these bells shifted. I really hope this hasn't affected the price of bells, though. Nope. That's good. So there we go. Everything is sorted. Hopefully the frost doesn't stay next year. Or, or this year. No, actually no, it is. It's next year. Next year, but this winter. Um, yes, it's obviously a glitch. But yeah, hopefully the giants are working on it. I've seen quite a few people mention it. And I think the best thing to do is, if you do ever experience something, just email Giants. Report it to Giants. I've reported several things. Several things have been fixed, so that's good. Seventy thousand litres of bales just here. Sadly, they are going to have to sit outside whilst we load them. But yeah, like I said, I don't think it affects them. So this is going to be tricky. I'm not very good at it, as I said in the previous episode. But it's certainly far from impossible. So I don't really mind about what it looks like. I always try and make my stacking as presentable as possible. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't look 100%. They are just going to be sold and shredded. So... Yeah. Oh yeah, how many bows did we make today? 27. 181 so far on this Let's Play. Let's just see how hard it is to stack. I don't think I've stacked any properly yet. I made it harder because one of them was at a different level. Yeah, should be able to do that. I'm bound to drop a few, but that's just the way it is. It saves having to rent an auto stacker. I think that's probably full enough. We've got three layers, so we'll get that one on the back, put a strap over all of them, and then we'll call it done. There we go. Very nice. 
Yep. I don't want to flip this. That would be very messy and I don't think my front loader tractor will be powerful enough to pick it up. No, it won't. We have to restack the whole trailer. So, um, yeah, we'll put it onto the back of the... Yeah, we'll just keep it on the Matthew Ferguson. Uh, I've got the plough going again. There's the train. And as I said before, the best place is actually the biogas plant, which means we won't get paid until midnight. But it doesn't really matter too much. And we're off. So I don't know if we actually can sell at the BGA. I don't know if you have to buy it, because I know it's 1.5 million to buy, but I thought that would be just so that you can produce the digestate and biogas to run, well, to sell as a product or to run your tractor on. There is that New Holland methane tractor. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth trying. We, I think we're going to have to use the tractor with the front loader. I don't think you can just park up next to it. But what I'll do is I'll get a bale, drop it into the cell point, see if it does nothing. If it doesn't do anything, obviously we have to buy it, which we can't do because it's so expensive. Um, so if it doesn't work, we'll come back and we'll go to the livestock market. But hopefully it will work. And then, yeah, at midnight we'll find out how much money we've made. This kind of lighting in the winter is a very good example of... Uh, how nice the, the lighting really is in this game. That looks very realistic. The sunshine shining through the bare trees. Right, so if I continue down here, we're actually going to end up in the train station. I think there is a bypass road, but yeah, this is the one we're supposed to take. Otherwise, we're actually going through their land. And then there is the BGA right in front of us. We do have a turning in somewhere on this side, over a waybridge. Yep, this is the place. I'm trying to tip over. Should have some figures up here. Uh, 15.3 tonnes so far. Don't think we're going to fit all of our axles on at the same time. Anyway, yeah, I think this would be the place. So if it, like I said, if it doesn't work by dropping some into there, because I don't think you can just park up next to it. No. So yeah, I'll, I'll just try it. Just grab a bale. See if it sells. But I will save, because if I drop a bale in there, and it doesn't accept it, it's just going to be there and we're going to lose it, so we don't want to be losing bales. I'll just try it with one. Okay, press the save button. And we'll hope for the best. Because selling here is going to give us much more money, although the other place isn't that bad. It could be much worse. Okay. Yes, I was afraid of that, because you can see... Well, maybe I'm doing it wrong. If anybody knows otherwise, please do let me know. But 1.5 million. So that kind of implies that we do have to buy it. Interesting. Right, better load up. It was nice doing business with you. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe when we have the money, or until I know otherwise... Here we are at the livestock market. This will still be good. Oh, a couple of escapes. We'll get them when we come back with another load very soon. But that was 18,600, not bad.
the plough is getting on very nicely. Just need to somehow get past it without stopping it. There we go. I have a few more bells to put onto the back of here, and then we're going to go to the sell point once more and sell the rest of it. And then we should have time just about to get the honey sold. As for the lettuce, well, I do want to sell the lettuce because the price is good. But as we know, the wool, we can wait for the wool. Ah, oh, these are all stuck in the back here. Um, yes, and also the eggs. I think they can still improve, so I'm not super desperate. But they're not a bad price at all. Lettuce is the priority. Okay, there we go. Everything's on. No idea how much we're going to make here. Oh, these people don't even look. Unbelievable. I look and I still go anyway. So as I said, we do have a few more to push into the cell point. These ones missed it. Trying to escape. £33, I don't think that's right. You must have sold the majority of it before it slipped out of there. They're like 500 each. 576 if I remember correctly. Or 11. Okay. Sell the rest of them. Lovely. Okay, so we have £65,750. And here we are, back at the farm. What a beautiful sunset. So yeah, I just need to jump into the pickup truck to take the honey. Although actually, yep, we do still have one pallet left in the spawn point. So we can definitely pop that onto the trailer as well. Just do another price check, just to make sure. Yep, it's over £3,000, that is very good. That is per 1,000 litres though, and it's only 120 litres per pallet, so it's not quite as good as it seems. Okay, and the price for lettuce is decreasing. We have sold quite a lot today, actually. Oh, and it can only go up. It's going up. So, well, it should be going up. Um, so yeah, the, okay, okay. Then, yeah, the priority is the honey. We've made a lot of money today. We've done well. Repaid the loan, which I'm very happy about. And that is what I would call a full trailer. So it's going to be the farm shop. I need to refresh my memory as to how to get to there. I think if I was to go, I think going right out of here is... Oh no, we can go left. Go left and then cut across. Put some lights on. I used to be able to overtake the traffic, not anymore. they could do with putting some lights on too. All the road signs that I've taken down. Yeah, so if we turn left up here and then turn right. One thing's for sure, people like hot air ballooning around here. There's plenty of them. That's a nice view. Very, very nice. Yep, so turn right. Just as we get out of the town. Here we go. And then it's somewhere up here on the left hand side. This is where the map really opens up, and this is the area which reminds me of FS11. It reminds me of the FS11 map. Not the graphics, obviously, just the map. Just the layout. Ooh. Don't want to slip on my honey. And here we are. So 
So how much is it going to be? It must be three thousand pounds. It must be. Yes, three thousand five hundred and forty-four pounds. And considering we didn't have to do anything except for move pallets around, that's not bad. And look at that, we have seventy thousand pounds pretty much. At the beginning of the episode we had, well some of it was the loan, but I think we probably had about £6,000 of our own money. Brilliant. It's a great end to this episode. So yeah, we've still got lettuce to sell, but we can do that any time. Yeah, nice bit of progress there. And I just had to stop to take in this beautiful view. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.